is the Sixth Sense man, Ben Milliken, doing a one and done after one year on the Bassmaster Elites. That's what we're going to talk about right now. If you like this content, please hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure you're part of the team and family, and thank you. But if you're not a subscriber, click that button. Become part of the family. Ben Milliken is a very polarizing angler. Either you love him or you hate him. There's a lot of people that comment they don't like him, and there's lots of hundreds of thousands of people who also love him. He is a great angler. He qualified for the elites last year after the 2023 season being on the opens where he finished in the top nine or top 10. He was absolutely fantastic. It was always his dream to fish on the elites, to fish in a classic. And after he won that one event in the opens, he got not only got to fish the classic this year, but he got to fish at the top, at the biggest level on the stage of professional bass fishing. And coming into the elite se season of 2024, honestly, I thought he did pretty well. I imagine he wanted to do better. I think he finished in that top 30, which allowed him another opportunity to fish the 2025 Classic, which is, I believe, very important because it's out there in Texas, and there are very few anglers as good as he is on any Texas ponds and lakes. And to be honest, I'm not sure if his channel grew as an elite angler. And by this, I mean, I don't know if he got more views this year during the season than last year when he wasn't an elite angler. I don't know if he was able to produce more regular content on a regular basis this year as he did last year. And I know that YouTube might not be his only income, but it's a big majority of his income because he is one of the biggest YouTube content creators on the market or on the planet for fishing oriented stuff. But being on the elites this year, he made about $90,000, which was, which $45,000 of that goes right back to bass because of their entry fees. And when you take into consideration boat and car and home payment that you still have to make and getting a, 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 v, a Verbo or an Airbnb for you and your family and the cameraman and you have food costs and you have gas prices and you have tackle. And when you add all that up, I don't know how profitable it would be for him as an elite angler. But Ben had a real cryptic message that stated he was happy to go home, but, and I quote, he was figuring out what I plan to fish next year. And it brought in a lot of speculation of, does he have, is he going to fish one year and be done? Now, if you look at this from an outside perspective and you realize how much money it costs to fish the elites, and if he was not able to do the same amount of content that he did last year versus this year, it would make sense to say maybe it isn't profitable to be an elite angler for Ben. However, qualified for the, the classic in 2025. Now I'm not sure if you are not fishing the elites if you can if you still make that classic bid. I would assume so, and that could still help him propel him to, to live out his dream of being at a second classic. But it brings him to a lot of speculation on. Is this the right decision for him to be in? Is it the right financial decision for him to be in? And on the Bateman TV podcast, which they went on just a few days ago, 8-23-24, he had Ben and Cat and Ron. And in that in that video, in that podcast, they talk about what, what happened. And he says it's financially, it isn't financially stable to be an elite angler. It's hard to make money. Late Snake Shearer says you made a cryptic Facebook post implying you may not. Um, I don't know yet. I'm not sure. Um, I will do whatever I feel like, I guess. I think, you know, fishing the elites this season really taught me um, uh, that, like Captain Ron said, you know, we're not a real sport. It's not a it's not an NBA or MLB or anything like that. We are literally 1099 employees working mm -hmm. for a company. Um, you are an employee. It's nothing more, nothing less. It's it's what we've all dreamed of getting this top level of professional bass fishing. But we dreamed of getting the top level of professional bass fishing. We didn't dream all this this bullshit that comes with it, which most importantly includes it almost being impossible to make money. Um, and you spend an ungodly amount of money. Which is what we have constantly heard, not from not Jacob Fouts, but we've heard from every other angler. The people that are in the middle tier that don't win a tournament every year are not breaking even. And with bass continuing to stay at the 
top the level that they pay anglers versus where major league fishing is now going to go to $150,000 for the winter. It has a huge influence on where an angler should be. And while the platform is bigger on bass and major league fishing, the condensed group of anglers that the BPT will have next year and the year after is going to be very attractive to bass fishing fans and bass fishing anglers. And while there's a lot of people that do not like the BPT, I believe this limited group of anglers that they're dwindling down to is the right decision because the payouts are going to get higher and the anglers are going to get paid more throughout that 50. Many people aren't going to agree with that and that's all right, but we have to look at it from an outside's perspective. But getting back to Ben, do you think Ben is making the right decision? Do you think he's going to fish next year? I think he will. I think he'll have to. I think it just makes it helps with content. I help it helps bring his brand up even more. I don't know if he can make his brand any better, to be honest. He's one of the biggest content creators there is. But my question to you is, should he leave the elites? Should Ben be one and done? He's a college basketball player. And really, what does he have to prove to anyone anymore? Does he need to prove that he can make he can fish at the highest level? Because he did. Finishing in the top 30 is commendable and tough. What does he have to prove? What does he have to prove at this point in time? So comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take your kid fishing, get your fish on. I'll talk to you very, very soon. Cheers, thank you, and tight lines.